As part of the ongoing developments to Pro Tools to improve the creative process, you can now change the edit window scroll mode during playback. Before looking at this improvement, let's quickly review the scroll modes available in Pro Tools. If no scrolling is selected, the timeline will not scroll with the current playback location. If after playback is selected, the timeline will scroll to the final insert point location after playback is stopped. If page is selected, the timeline will display the next section when the playback indicator reaches the end of the currently visible timeline. If continuous is selected, the timeline will scroll past a central playback cursor line. As a note, continuous scroll requires extra processing power that may not be suitable on some host-based systems in some situations. For HDX and HD native Pro Tools systems, there's an additional center playhead option, which locks the timeline around a central position indicated by a blue bar, which turns red when there are record-enabled tracks. Being able to choose your scroll mode during playback means you don't have to decide on a scroll mode before a long record or mix pass and freely change to the most suitable mode on the fly. For example, if you normally work in page scroll, but want to check an automation or edit point you've already passed, previously you would have either had to stop or zoom out to a level where the information you are looking for might not be clear. Now you could choose no scrolling during playback to check the previous point, then return to page scroll. As well as the menu, options, edit window scrolling, you're able to change between these modes using Yukon control surfaces, including the freely available PT control application for iPad on iOS.